Welcome to the Broadcast Church Planting training video. Uh, we are going to, we have been, sorry, last time talking about how we need help as church planters. Uh, and church planting is just difficult, especially those first couple of years. It's hard work. It can have uh, quite deep emotional impact on the planter and the planter's family, those around them. It can be very joyous. It can be high highs and very low lows in church planting. Uh, and so we've realised that we need help as planters. We just simply do to avoid some of the uh, ridiculous decisions that we might make having other people who've been through those situations is immensely helpful and we talked last time about how having a coach or someone who's apostolic uh, with a little bit of authority above you to help you uh, to guide you is just of immense use it's invaluable but what's also really helpful uh, is having peers around you who are going through a similar thing who you can stand alongside and you can help each other and that's something we try and facilitate on broadcast we call them uh, master classes uh, and uh, currently we're running one which I'm part of um, with Ali Scott who's planting in Chesterley Street up in the north uh, and John and Abby uh, Flavello are planting River City Church in Hull uh, and then Colin Barron and myself who are planting in Christchurch Manchester uh, and really the aim of it is to support uh, provoke and inspire each other really we want to walk alongside each other tell each other stories of things that have gone well, things that haven't gone well, to hear each other's opinion on different things that we're trying. Uh, and I found it fascinating, actually, an insight into the, the way different personalities go about things and uh, think about how they want to plant, uh, uh, approach kind of um, what mission, uh, what it means in their context, team building, what it means to be an entrepreneur, all of those things, seeing how um, different uh, personalities and people have worked these things out. It's just been immensely useful and particularly there's one particular thing which really hit home with me uh, and that was in we were talking one particular time about uh, how we built our team especially in the very very early days the first few months uh, and both John in Hull and Ali in Durham had a very uh, clear idea of how they were going to uh, build a narrative in the very early days with their core group about what commitment looked like what it really looked like to be involved uh, in a church plant uh, and um, th they spelt that out very clearly, even, you know, this this is um, how turning up on a Sunday is really helpful. This is what community group is like. This is what that's like. This is, please get involved. And these are the things you can do early on to give us some momentum. Uh, and in listening to them, I just thought there was real clarity there and made me reflect that actually uh, this is something that we haven't done particularly well at Kingsway. Uh, and perhaps even in the history of CCM, uh, that early narrative of what commitment looks like, what involvement looks like, we've not been very clear on. Uh, and actually that's meant as we've progressed in things, it, to some people it's felt like we've moved the goalposts uh, a little bit, whereas actually we, we hadn't told the right story at the beginning and we had to retell a story or start a new story as we were going in uh, and having to redefine what commitment looked like, what involvement looked like. Uh, and so for me, that was uh, a real eye opener. It made me think, actually, the next time we plant, and we will plant again, uh, whether it's us or one of the other sites of CCM, uh, we're going to plant in the city centre, hopefully in January. But in those early days, weeks and months of planting, I think actually we will talk a little bit differently to our core group um, to involve them more, actually, because by not being very clear, we were kind of keeping them on the fringe a little bit to bring them in more uh, and to talk a little bit more about what commitment looks like. Um, and what vision looks like in those early days. And so I found that immensely helpful, just having those peers to bounce those ideas off, and those guys really challenged me, and it was really helpful for me. Uh, so that's what we're talking about today. Church planters, you need help. You need it from uh, people with some authority, who are a bit apostolic maybe, but also, really importantly, you need it from your peer group as well. Uh, so tomorrow evening on broadcast. Uh, that's Thursday, 27th of April, half seven in the evening. I'm actually going to be interviewing John and Abby, Abby Flavel uh, about their first year in planting a church in Hull. And uh, I've got a whole bunch of questions for them, some of which are going to be excruciating. I mean, really, they're going to cry. That's what's going to happen. So if you want to watch that, and I really would, um, you can go onto the broadcast website. You can get info there. You can log in there. It will be recorded, um, so it will be available afterwards. I'm not really going to make them cry. I might make them cry. Um, and so that would be great. So that's our broadcast church planning training video for this week. Thanks very much for watching.